remember I told you in our last video that when you see a bracket looking this way, it means plane. So in this video, we'll be dealing with um planes. So as you can see in this um first cube number one, we have our x y z x y and z and we have this is our x this is our y and this is our z right so here this is the midline this is this number given 100 is the midline this is this number 100 is our midline this is so we have to get the intercept by doing the reciprocal and how do we do that so i think i'll be doing it okay let me do it somewhere here so getting the reciprocal of this like i said 100 is our midline indices and this is mi so to get the intercept to do the reciprocal it means 100 raised to the power minus 1 which means 1 over um, 1 over 1 1 over 0 1 over 0 which means we have 1 infinity infinity so this is what we are going to use in taking our reading again this is our x this is our y and this is our z this means it's going to be parallel to y direction z direction so i want you to understand this that if this is our point of origin remember how we choose our point of origin always face direction we are going to the positive side of x so i know if i choose here i can always go positive in this direction and if it was a negative i will know my origin is supposed to be in front because i'll be going backwards so i will erase that now so now we are being told that we went one from the origin so sometimes always mark your origin with not sometimes every time always mark your origin with point three zeros then we know we are going one on x direction so it is this this is a plane and not a direction if it was the direction we would have go ahead drawing our arrow and walking away like nothing ever happened but since this is a plane and we are being told that x is point one which is parallel to our y and z axis so this is our y axis parallel to this place and parallel to our, our z axis so all we do is we trace so this is our plane because it slices on x axis on our x line it slices on our x axis so let's look at the second one remember this is our mi so we have to take the reciprocal which is zero one zero sorry we have to take the reciprocal which is zero one zero inverse so we have one over this one over this and one over this which leads us to infinity one infinity this is our point of interception so now we know if we pick our origin here we can travel positive on any direction and we know we are traveling on y direction let me do the x y and z so this is our x this is our y and this is our z so traveling on our y direction we know this is our point and we know that it is parallel to both our z and our x axis so we shade all of this to tell you that this is our plane i want you to imagine like cutting something it's like a section like this is the part that is being sectioned so this is our plane all right so the next one again we do the this is our miller indices so we do the inverse zero zero one we do the inverse of this which means one over zero one over zero 1 over 1 which means infinity infinity 1 x y z so we close this again so we know we are traveling positive so this is our z y and x so since we are traveling positive we are going on to z direction that's the only guy that has and it's parallel to our x and y axis so we do this this is the plane that slices on our z axis so now let's go to question number four this is our miller indices remember miller indices then we go by doing the reciprocal which is one over one one over one and one over zero so we end up having one one infinity right then 
this is our point of origin since everything is positive and this is our x direction y direction and z direction so it says we are going one on x y z so it says we are going one on x one on y direction and it is parallel to our z so it means parallel to our z this is our z plane parity so this is our point so we can shade like this right so next in line is 101 so mila indices we do the reciprocal once again which is 1 over 1 1 over 0 1 over 1 and we have 1 infinity 1 right so this is our x y and z so x y z remember to always put the brackets remember to always put the brackets so we know we are working with plane so on our x axis we have positive so this is our line so positive of x is here then positive of y i'm sorry y is not given it's infinity so it's going to be parallel then okay i keep forgetting point of origin let's just put that then um for our z which is this guy and we know that it is parallel to uh, y so which means i dot it here dot it here and this is our square right then let's go again this is our x, our y, and our z. So we do the reciprocal of our mila indices. We will end up having infinity, 1, 1. So we know this is x, y, and z. So we are picking our point of origin here because it's all positive. So this is my y, distance 1. Remember, if we had half, if our indices here was half, half, right? you would stop somewhere in the half year so one half year also you get but if it was one over three one third the size it stops somewhere here so i'm just going to erase that because we are dealing with whole numbers we don't have fractions sorry can i erase all of what i did so back to what we're doing before i diverted so we have y1 and our z is 1 so it is parallel to our x direction which means this is the direction of x it travels towards the direction of x towards the direction of x so this is our plane hey sorry so travels direction of x once again then this is our plane here yeah. okay so guys welcome back again these are the next questions to do it so as you can see here we have triple ones so remember this is our miller indices this is our miller indices so we need to turn them into uh, intercept point of intercept and how do we do that we do inverse of this which is one over one one over one one over one which basically is to take us all back to triple ones right so let's pick this as our point of origin zero 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 then we know this is our x y and z axis so this is our x y and z axis so from the point of origin we pick our x 
if you can y then we'll pick our z and if you connect this together it gives us this and we shade our plane out right so let's go for this next guy let's do the reciprocal of this which is going to be one over minus one right and we have one over one and we have one over one which leads us to minus one one and one so this is a uh, now we need to be very tactical because our x is negative right so if we pick it here we'll have to travel backwards so we have to put it somewhere in front for our origin so let's count now so this is our x y and z so for our hex we go negative one backwards so this is our backwards point on our hex plane and for our y we go positive one so this is our positive one and on our z we go okay let me mark this as my point of origin on our z we go this way so how do we connect this so this is our plane you literally will only be able to see it in front it's like a, it's a triangle actually so in continuation let's do the reciprocal for this guy also so we have it to be one over one one over minus one and one over one which leads to one this and this so here we go we pick we know our y is negative so we have to be sensitive about that this is our y plane right so since we are traveling backwards so we have to pick from this point so let's go by saying x is 1, y is minus 1, and our z is positive 1, z, y, and our x. So if I join this, it's another triangle. Which is literally inverted of the last or previous one we drew okay so next for this guy let's do the inverse we have it to be one over this one over this and one over this guy so it should be one one negative one and now we know our z is negative so we we'll have to travel downwards so whatever we're doing we should pick the top for our origin so this is our z this is our y and this is our x so we know from here our x is one so we travel one forward this is our origin and this is our origin so x is one our y is also one and our z is a negative one so we draw a plane looking this way yeah that so now for negative one zero one so we go again intercept why is this sticking like a C inverse? So we have one over negative one, one over zero, one over one, which leads us to negative one infinity one. So our X is negative, which tells us we have to put our origin in front somewhere. So we go x, y, and the z. So we go backwards, point one. So this is our origin. 
backwards for one then we go infinity on on y then we have z to be we have z to be one so we go infinity towards y which means which means it's parallel to this direction and here is our square or her plane so for this remember we are doing the reciprocal of this which becomes 1 over 1 1 over negative 2 and we have 1 over 2 right which leads us to 1 minus half and the positive half for our x y z plane so this is our x this is our y and this is our z so one thing we know is our y is negative which means we are traveling backwards and um that advice us to pick our point somewhere here point of origin point here so we can always travel negative direction so from here our x is positive one we have our positive one here then our y is half so i think half should be somewhere around here and our z is also half so half of our z should be somewhere here so we'll pick our points, draw out our plane. Sorry, this is supposed to be touching this wall. And then Alright guys, there's our plane. Thank you very much and make sure you subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you find something um no understanding. Thank you. Bye.